Hey everybody, we're out here uh, in the, this little mini orchard that we created, which gets all of the nutrients from our biodynamic farm. So our pig poops out at the grain, and then the chickens get to eat the pig poop, and then they poop, and then when it rains, it all runs down into here. Which is why we can get a Manchurian apricot like this in four years from a single seedling. That's a pretty impressive tree for where we're living and growth for the desert. And it has everything to do with the mycorrhiza, of the nutrients in here and all that biodynamic activity coming down here. So today I just want to talk a little bit about pruning and when you should prune. It's like the second week of January. Do you know what date is? Uh, it doesn't matter. Right. Sometime after Christmas or New Year's is when you want to prune in the next three weeks or six weeks depending on where you live, because the trees are completely dormant and it could be beautiful out like it is here. So typically when you prune trees, we don't have many big ones, so all we need is a, a pruner like this or something like that. And real quick, Alan, I want to show everyone that when you have a pruner, you it's either cutting left-handed or right-handed. This is a right-handed pruner, so that means if I want to cut a branch, I want to be putting this blade up onto the, the tree and what that does is it cuts it as close as possible. We'll show you that in a minute because if you use it from the other side it's going to leave a gap of you know a quarter inch. So that's just the proper way to prune if you didn't know. And before you start pruning I just want a little tip every day I don't know I think Alan drinks something like this too. Yes. I make a juice. It used to be a green juice but what this juice has is I put half organic apple juice and then the rest will be water. But after I put the apple juice in, I put a scoop of nested super greens, which is in our store. And then I put a scoop of turmeric booster, both organic, which is in the store, and that's for inflammation. The, the super greens is for micronutrients. And now I added some beet powder, um, and that's for blood flow. And you just shake it up for about a buck a day. This is probably the best nutritive you can do for your health and your body. What do you think, Alan? It's wonderful. And some people yeah. think it, uh, it's going to taste nasty, right? No, it's actually, it, it's totally amazing. So give it a try or something like it. Now, let's talk about pruning. These are two trees we got we're going to prune. An apple here on the right, or your left probably if you're watching. And then this is a Manchurian apricot. And there are dozens of ways to prune and pruning videos or pruning techniques. But the main thing you're looking for, and so you don't need to use any of those specific techniques. But the main thing you're looking for is branches that are crossing or touching. That's bad. So you want to eliminate crossing or touching branches. You want to also think about fruit load. So when branches start to get lateral like this one, if we have lots of fruit on here, it's going to bend down and potentially break the branch. So when considering that, you're going to want to eliminate branches like this one where too much fruit is going to snap, um, snap it off. So when I'm looking at crossed branches in here that are real close, I'm going to pick the branches that are most likely to snap off from fruit load to get rid of, like this one, and then this lateral branch. And that way there's going to be some airflow in here, another cross branch here that could break off. So what you're looking at over here, you can see, we pruned this pretty nice. You're looking to get your branches vertical so that a vertical branch on an apple tree like this can hold 100 apples. If it was like this one out here, or this one is a bad one, it could potentially break. So I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna be pruning off. The branches that could potentially break. Like this one in here. And you also want airflow in your tree. So it's nice to have the inside uh, open for airflow. You could see that this tree here is gonna require a lot of work for us to clear it up. So, and a lot of these side branches can come off this year. This one's crossed. And I'll take this one off for fruit load. So, Alan, ba just based on what I said, you see this branch? Yes. What do you think we should do? It should go. It should go. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a good one. Mm. And then this one should go. Right. This one should get out of there. Yep. These lower ones. Right. And you guys think might think I'm taking a lot of branches off here, but I didn't even tell you the basis for winter pruning. When you're pruning your fruit trees, 
in the winter like this, you want to be taking off at least a third of the whole tree. Um, some people think that's ridiculous, but what it's going to do is give you a stronger tree um, with actually better fruit production that'll last longer and be much healthier. And I didn't really believe it, but the first time I, I cut half of all the trees off, the next season, they looked amazing. So, and, and you're going to want to take your time uh, because it takes a while to prune these trees correctly. Now, I've heard a lot of things about the height um, and how you want to attack that. So, Alan, when you look up here, what do you notice in the top of this tree? They're like uh, two, they go out. They have these branching clusters, right? See right. them? Right. So this is not necessarily good for a tree. Okay. When you have lots of branching clusters high up, um, it's going to potentially put a lot of weight on this and it'll bend this way. So you want to eliminate these upper clusters like this one, and I'm right. going to just cut right below it and get rid of that. I'll get rid of this one. And this is going to keep your tree height more manageable. Uh, when you have a, a branch that comes out like this, you have two options. You can cut it in half, but because of this is the position it's in, what would you do? You're going to take it all away because yeah. it's going to take the other branch down with it. Yeah. So maybe get rid of this cluster up here and this one up here. Yep. And there's no need for this tree to be this tall, so I'll just get rid of all of them. And that way, we'll eliminate that whole issue. And there's just three more left. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, so now for this tree, the only thing I really have left is to clean the whole center out. And just basically take out these lateral branches that would potentially break. Because in the end, so here's a crossing branch, Alan, see that? Right. And I see another crossing branch over so there. So when you have these two, this one's more vertical than this one. Right. Just take that one out. And believe me, you can't get this wrong. If you're following the steps, you could do too little. It's very difficult to do too much. Yeah. We got a lot of sideways branches here that come off. Right. There's one right above your head. This one? Yep. So this tree is looking much better than it ever has. I don't know if we've spent that much time on uh, this one pruning ever before. This is a little too sideways. Let me get rid of this too. Okay, so I like that. I like that. It's pretty nice. Do you see any anything glaring at you? Maybe these two little ones here. Yeah. I don't like this either. Yeah. So that's pretty nice. Pretty nice prune job. Now, let's come over to this apple. It doesn't need much work at all. It's tiny. It got hit by deer and got the whole top chewed off. So, in a, in a tree that's this small, I'm just going to try to keep the center aired out. And maybe start to give it some shape for the future when it grows up. Some of these look dead. Some of these look a little closed in here. There's a cross. And that's basically all I'm going to do to this apple. Take these off. So I didn't take a third off of this. And the reason is because this got hit by uh, deer or elk last year. It got eaten. So it needs a little time to recover. And so I was just gentle. And that's basically uh, a quick tutorial on how to prune your fruit trees. Uh, any questions, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, but that's how we do it here at the Oppenheimer Ranch. Thanks for watching.